Okay, guys, I know the new moon is tonight and that I didn't finish those readings, so I'm getting to them now. I do apologize. I just needed a day to, like, recoup, okay? So we're starting. We ended with Libra, I believe, so we're starting with Scorpio. These are your new moon messages. Again, even if it's today, it doesn't mean it's going to happen necessarily today, but it's now, like, you know, the energy of moving on. So what does Scorpio need to know for the new moon Um New moon in Virgo. I think it's in Virgo, guys. I don't know. Gold goldfish brain. For Scorpio. What do they need to know for the new moon? Okay. Very stagnant. Very stagnant for you. I don't see a lot going on. I don't feel like anything brand new is happening right away for you. Some of you might be feeling emotionally distant. Um, dealing with inner conflict. Scorpio. If you are planning a trip around this new moon, uh, it looks disastrous. It does. It does not look good for you. Some of you need to give up a very bad habit, whether it's a person or a habit of your own, okay? I do some sort... There's a truth that's going to be spoken or, or be exposed, okay? And it could be with a fire sign, air sign... Could be with more than one person even. What is this about? Okay, somebody might be lying that they moved on or moved past something, like a situation, and they didn't. I'll give you an example. Um, maybe, maybe you have, like, this best friend that's secretly still seeing this ex that you hate. You know, something like that, okay? Um, I do see you almost, like, giving up on your some sort of a new habit that you had so whether it was exercise or eating right or something i see, see you sort of throwing that out the window right now which is fine for scorpio be careful it looks like you could be having some sort of like quick fling with somebody as well now of course if you're happily married this is not going to resonate but um yeah even if it's just a hardcore crush. I don't think it's going anywhere, but I'm just telling you that it's there for Scorpio. Ooh. Scorpio, you could be getting involved, and this could be long-term in the future. Could be Taurus, could be Pisces. Really, this is a pretty significant, like, moving in together sort of thing. I don't think that's going to happen today. <laughs> but it's something that looks like it's happening in your future. You're, you're soon, to be honest with you. Anything else for Scorpio before I move on? For the new moon, what messages do they have? Yeah. Somebody's ending a relationship definitely with a fire sign or they're ending it with you. Um, finances were definitely an issue. I see a lot of heartbreak. Spending time alone. Things moving very slowly for you, especially when it comes to financial and emotional stuff. And don't worry, not a big deal. What are these messages? The number eight is here. I see you meeting somebody. I see you meeting somebody. You will be healing from this, okay? You will be meeting somebody, Scorpio. Okay, well, it's after Scorpio, Sagittarius. Is that right? I think so. Sagittarius. What new moon messages do you have for Sagittarius? What? I'm not taking that. I see messages coming in. The number eight, dude, this is karmic for you. I'm telling you right now, there's eights everywhere around me right now. You have something very karmic happening. I see more money coming in. It's going to start very, very slowly. Sort of like when you give up, when you're kind of like, all right, forget it. Like, what's left to do? Um, truth being exposed, and it's definitely going to hurt your heart a little bit. But it's going to come in in most likely messages, okay? Somebody having a heart-to-heart -heart with you and being like, you know, telling you some sort of truth or... Something that you're not going to feel good about. Sagittarius.
I don't see you walking away. Maybe you're willing to mend this, whatever this is, okay? And I do see you taking better care of yourself as well. Um, this will come with finances. <clears throat> it's almost like, oh, finally, I have the, the money to join the gym or I have the money to go see a doctor, that kind of thing. Who is this air sign in your energy? They're in the reverse. <laughs> You have them stressed out. This could be somebody you work with. It could be family. It could be a friend, lover, whatever the case, okay? There's an earth sign dealing with the same thing. You have both these people, like, all pissed off. Sagittarius. New moon energy. I see you spending some time alone, heartbroken over a situation because, because you're alone, because you're alone. And again, we're getting messages in the number eight. This is crazy. Somebody's helping you else financially or emotionally, Sagittarius as well. That, that might be who's reaching out to you. They're like silly. They're like a silly person. Like not bad silly, fun silly. You may need to make a decision. It could be at a distance, not necessarily. I have Aries or somebody with a child. I have some sort of proposal here and a wish fulfillment, okay? Finances are involved with a relationship. So if you are single and looking, you probably have a relationship coming. If you are in a relationship, your finances will improve around your relationship. Um, <clears throat> if you don't want a relationship, this could be a business partnership, okay? I see you needing to invest somewhere though. Whether that's financially or emotionally, you need to invest somewhere. Anything else for Sagittarius? You might be changing the way you go about something. Heavy, heavy, heavy emotions here, else it's somebody who's a heavy drinker or a water sign. They may be they may be giving up on you and walking. This is probably somebody you're intimate with, okay? Yeah. They may be giving up on some sort of situation with you. If you've been looking to move or get a place, um, there could be one that you are looking at that you will not end up with getting. Okay, so let's move on to Capricorn. Capricorn, so, so <clears throat> new moon messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know? New moon messages for Capricorn. Ooh, I see a bit of a financial blunder. It looks like you guys are, you could be fighting over money with somebody, whether this is, um, you know, baby daddy, baby mama, uh, uh, business partner, client, something like that. You're going to probably need to make some sort of decision here. There's somebody at a distance. Could be an Aries. Doesn't have to be. Could be somebody who has children. I am seeing a Ouija board for some reason. Um, that you're, you, you need to make a decision about. New moon energy here. Yeah. Heavy on the fire sign. Heavy on the fire sign. I do see that you have options. What are these options for Capricorn around the new moon? Be careful. They can be very burdensome. If you guys are looking to reconnect with somebody from the past, don't do it. I don't care if this is an ex-lover. I don't care if this is an ex-job, ex-client, ex-family member. Don't do it. They're going to just be a burden. I do see you going through some sort of healing. Now, now, for those of you that have... Uh recently left a situation where like maybe you moved out, something like that. I see you healing from that. For those of you that ha have recently like done some repairs on your house, expect that to go wrong. I hate to say that. It's true. Um, for those of you that have been looking for a new house, I do not see you getting the one you want. Capricorn, what else? Why are you holding up money, Capricorn? You might be making some sort of investment could be investing in a relationship that actually leads to something. 
um, long term. Be careful with somebody though you're working with. Why is this for Capricorn? Somebody's somebody's trying to mess with your money here, Capricorn. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, oh I don't like it. Be careful. <sighs> okay. Could be, like I said, a boss, a client, a uh, business partner making false claims. Okay, making false claims. Could be another earth sign, doesn't have to be. They are coming out as an earth sign, but it's saying don't celebrate, don't count your chickens before they hatched. That's what I'm getting. They're trying to like get more money out of you. For Capricorn. For those of you that are involved in any sort of connection with an air sign, I see that coming to an end. I do see more money coming your way. And you have some sort of match with somebody here. Very heavy emotions. Um, you guys could have water in your chart, okay? Could even be, guys, again, if you are not looking to get in any sort of relationship, this could be just a business partnership of, of sorts, okay? Where more money is, a, money is basically the factor with this new partnership, okay? You guys would come together and probably be able to um, else have a business together or help each other make money. That's it. Okay, anything else? I'm going to end it here and move on to Aquarius. Some of you are looking at moving. Okay. Yeah. You do have a spiritual person in your energy here. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but you do have a spiritual person. Maybe... Maybe you need guidance or maybe um, you are, you're turning spiritual, something of that nature. Okay. For Aquarius, <clears throat> new moon messages for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? New moon messages. Oh, you are in the upright, Aquarius. Somebody's going to be inviting you out. Mmm, don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. They are they are a page. They are the seven of swords. Don't do it. I don't care if it's just for coffee and they want to discuss a meeting. Don't do it. This person's a scumbag. No moving forward with them. They would just they would just bring you anxiety. Heavy on the earth side. They might even, like, I'm getting the feeling, like, if this is somebody from work, that they would, like, they would hit on you, like, at an event, which is not appropriate. and Or they would um, say they just want to, like, be friends and then make a pass. Like, I, I don't like the energy of this person. Aquarius new moon energy here. Somebody's getting left behind and moving on to more solid ground where you'd be making a lot more money. This is not a simple job. This is not you going out and getting like, you know, working as a bartender. This is a really good job. This is like the job you've been hoping for. Now, for some of you, you're investing in your career by doing more schooling, something like that. But it looks really good. I see more money coming your way, Aquarius, like a lot more money. Somebody might even invest in you, like they like what you do and they're willing to put the money forth to see you do better. You're, you're going to be changing the way you um, look at your future too. Like, so if you were, you always thought you wanted it this way, you're, you know, you're going to be like, you know, I don't think I like that after all. I don't think I want to live in a Victorian. I don't feel like I want to have a dozen cats. It's, you're just going to change the way you um, are viewing your future. Anything else? Something could go wrong in your house or your apartment or wherever you live. We have the Ten of Cups here, Aquarius. It's going to be a while. It's not going to be quick, but it is going to be a while. It's going to be after somebody lets you down. Heavy on the Sagittarius doesn't have to be. Something will be exposed and some sort of imbalance happening. 
I see them you kind of cutting them down and once once that's over I do see the ten of cups coming your way where you're gonna be able to put more effort into um, yourself and what you're doing anything else for Aquarius no reconciliation I see a celebration with a water sign. doesn't matter who this water sign is, but I see some sort of celebration and you two making decisions together could be, could be a trip or travel involved, okay? You two are like soul partners here. I don't know if this is a family member, friend, or a loved one, but you two are very, very close. You help each other drop some sort of burden and... If you've been sick or somebody around you has been sick, I do see a healing energy around that. So Pisces, <clears throat> what does Pisces need to know for this new moon? What does Pisces need to know? New moon energy. What does Pisces need to know? Oh, Pisces. Oh, damn, Pisces. Oh, boy. There's a celebration. Somebody wants to get involved with you. A few people want to get involved with you. You're going to have to make a decision. Could meet them when you're out and about, not necessarily. Or you could meet online with the communication card here. Okay. Looks like an air sign doesn't have to be. We also have Leo. There's a celebration around your income as well. Somebody who thought you couldn't do it is going to regret ever feeling that way. Like, you know, if, if they, they, they're embarrassed now. Um, why is the four of wands in the reverse though? You're missing something going wrong in your house. You're looking at this mess and forgetting about this mess, okay? Why is the four of wands in the reverse? The number four is relevant. So four days, four weeks, four months, hold on to that money. You're gonna need it for something that goes wrong. Heavy Leo energy here. Why is the three of, why is this? I feel like it's not an easy fix. Whatever it is that's going on is not an easy fix, okay? You do have the Ten of Cups, similar to Aquarius. Why is that? Sort of like you give up at some point. You give up on like that idea of something being great or the perfect, you know, situation and then it comes in. Just like that. It's like, all right, well, forget it. Like, I'm never going to be married. I'm never going to have, you know, the picket fence. I'm never going to have the car of my dreams. I'm never going to have the career of my dreams. And then all of a sudden it happens. Somebody speaking some sort of truth to you. Could be an Aries. Doesn't have to be. What is this? What is this? Could even be an air sign. Somebody who's kind of watching you. Could be somebody who owes you an apology, to be honest with you. I don't think, if this is somebody that you can't get rid of, I don't think you ever really truly believe them or trust them again. You know, you just never really get past this sort of betrayal. The number nine is also important and we're in the ninth month, so keep that in mind. You may find some sort of stagnancy um, it, else in work or emotionally. Just feeling like you can't, you know, get past something. Anything else for Pisces for this new moon? Heavy burden here around finances. If you, like I said, this stagnancy is not going to last. I see you getting your passion back, okay? It's... I'm still getting the number four, so maybe it's going to take a while. Maybe it takes four months before you get your passion back, but um, you need to you need to stay focused on the finances. You can't just be letting it, um, you know, fall to the wayside because of whatever else is going on in your life, and I'm probably talking to myself right now, guys. So 
<clears throat> anything else? I don't want to end it on that. Anything else for Pisces? Needing to emotionally move on could be with a could be with somebody that you had a business partnership or a partnership with. Heavy on the Sagittarius and Taurus. I feel like you weren't getting what you needed um, out of this. Um, I'm seeing a third eye out of this situation and change is coming. Lots of options coming your way, Pisces. Lots of options, okay? After heartbreak. All right, so not the best reading, Pisces, my apologies, but. All right, guys, I hope this helps.